The Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the planet, which means the sea doesn't freeze as much as it used to. And less sea ice means more sunlight is absorbed into the ocean. The warmer ocean melts the glaciers faster from below, while warmer air temperatures melt the glaciers and ice sheet faster from above. Meaning more icebergs are carved into the ocean, the ice sheet diminishes, and there's ongoing sea level rise around the world. This is how it sounds and how it looks when the ice cap meets the sea. You see the azure blue of the ice there that's caused by the great pressure of the glacier above it, of the ice cap just weighing down on the ice. And these continual cracks as the ice falls and collapses off into the water. And these seabirds just wheeling around, feeding off these rich nutrients that are churned up by this continual flow of meltwater that's coming off the glacier in vast quantities. Oh, look at that. The Greenland ice sheet and the effects of it melting are so important to us all, there's a huge amount of scientific research going on. Deep within a fjord, oceanographer Lawrence Mayer uses a probe to gather data from the water. In terms of uh, climate change, to, uh, with this we me measure how much freshwater is actually coming from the ice sheet. So we see in recent years the amount of freshwater has increased uh, strongly because the melt has increased uh, strongly. Then also we measure temperature of the ocean because the ocean in many parts of Greenland is in direct contact with the ice sheet. So if the ocean warms up, then the, the glaciers will melt faster and faster. And that's something we actually see. It's also important to take core samples from the fjord bed. Everything that happens in the water column at some point ends up at the seafloor. And it's part of your ecosystem, of the food web in those fjords. So at the end we are interested in how uh, climate change will impact the food web of these marine fjords. At the end of every summer, satellite trackers establish how much Arctic sea ice has been lost. This year, it dropped to an area of just 4.72 million square kilometres, its 12th lowest extent on record. So, sea ice is currently declining at a rate of around 13% each decade. And to put that into perspective, an area of sea ice equivalent to a country the size of Austria is being lost each year. The Arctic is complex and hard to predict, but we do know for sure things are going in the wrong direction and it's having global consequences. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Kassiasuk, Greenland.